Okay, let's give you guys another example. So given this sequence, given this sequence, let's try and work out, let's try and work backwards to find the original formula. So, uh, so remember when, when, when n, uh, so when, when it's one here, it has to generate this. When it's a two, it has to generate this. When it's a three, it has to generate this. When it's a four, it has to generate this. So in general, in general, given any n, let, let's just say given any n here, it has to be able to generate something down here. Well, if, if you look at this, this is a fraction. This is a fraction. This is a fraction. So, so the answer, the answer must be something of a fraction, of a form of a fraction. Um, this here, let, let's, well, if, if you have a fraction here, then, then if you have a fraction, that will then generate all fractions. So really, let's, let's turn this into a fraction. So imagine this as over one. So, uh, so now, now, if you, if you look at this here, uh, we, we've got to, starting with an n, starting with any number, we've got to somehow generate the 1. When it's 4, we've got to somehow generate the 1. When it's 2, we've got to some, when it's whatever, you've got to generate the, uh, the 1 here. So it seems as if it's going to be a 1 here. Because no matter what n is, look, no matter what n is, 4, 3, 2, it's always going to generate the 1. So it's sensible to guess this to be your 1. And then if, if you look at this here, if you look at this, you've got, you've got negative, you've got a negative, you've got a positive, negative, positive, and so on. So remember, to, to generate the, the alternating sign, you would have to have this. This here will generate an alternating sign for you, because when n equals 1, it will give you a minus uh, 1. When n is, uh, when n is uh, 2, uh, negative 1 squared will be, will be 1. And then when n is three, it will give you negative one, one, and so on here. So that would then, um, that would then, this thing here would generate the alternating sign for you. So, so we know it's going to be of a form of a fraction. We know it's going to be one, because no matter what the number is, it's going to generate the one. It's going to generate the one. It's going to generate the one. Well, to create the alternating sign, then, then, then do this: negative one to the power of n. So it's going to be this times this. So this thing times one is going to be exactly the same. So so what's on top is really uh negative one to the power of n. That will then generate that will then generate negative one uh assuming you start at one. So uh so that would then generate negative one. When n is two it will generate positive one. When n is three it will generate negative one and so on. And then the, the hard part here is um is remember given Given an n, given an n, you have to somehow generate uh, this thing here. So, so, so when it's three, it has to generate a six. When it's two, it's got to generate the uh, the two. When it's one, it's got to generate the one. When it's uh, four, it's got to generate the one hundred and twenty. This here is quite hard to spot, but as it turns out, it's really n factorial. Um, try to um, Try to spot, try and memorize this pattern here. Uh, if, if n factorial is going to generate, generate 1, 2, 6, 120, and so on. So, um, th this here, just, just bear that in mind. It's, it's hard to actually teach you to recognize this. Um, just, just accept that n factorial will generate this. Okay. So, so if, yeah, just accept it's n factorial. Uh, in the future, hopefully, when you, when you see something 1, 2, Six, uh, 120, then you should hopefully be able to recognize this n factorial. So as it turns out, this thing here will be, uh, negative one to the power of, um, n, and then, uh, and then this will be n factorial. Okay. So, so, so suppose you have a, a positive here, and then a negative, negative a half. So, 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 uh, uh, hang on. this thing suppose is positive. Suppose this thing here is negative negative 120. If you have this case here, um, you, you know um, negative 1 to the power of n, we generate a negative first, positive, and uh, well, well if, if you want to, if you have a positive here and a negative, so here you start with a negative, but down here you start with a positive. To generate this, you, you, would, you would just do this, n plus 1. Okay, and then that would then start with a positive and so on. Okay, so, so for, so forget about this for the time being. 
The overall answer here is given by this. Okay.